Hey, it's Brie, and today is my long-awaited, what I've been long-awaiting, uh, me putting together my very large watercolor palette with all my watercolors in it. So, I have the set of like, what is it, 30, 30 uh, Shin Han watercolors, the Mission Gold set, which came with its own palette, but I wanna make my own. Uh, the 24 Holbein watercolor, my six set of my core watercolors and a bunch of other loose watercolors that I want to put into a big palette. This is my Arteza 72 fineliner container and look how many it fits in here. So um, I already have my own like personal watercolor palette that I set up with my Shinhan ones, which I love, but I really, really, really want to put all of them in one spot. So if ever I have to go on the run, and I need all my colors. This has, I think, I know I bought 100 half pans and then like 25 or something more from uh, Amazon. So it's got a lot of uh, half pans in here and there's still room for more. So depending on how many I fill up today, um, I might just take apart my handy dandy uh, Windsor Newton palette that I have. Let me find it. Um, I usually take this everywhere. It has my old gouache in it. It's like a photo album. It's got this really crappy swatch sheet. Oh, a little uh, water brush. And my Windsor Newton uh, half pans from like that 45 half pans that you can buy by them. And these are just uh, some Reeves gouache, I think. And some maybe like Windsor Newton gouache. But yeah, I might rip these out of here and put them in the big palette, but that will be for me to decide later on. But yeah, I have all of these, my half pans and a handy dandy fine sharpie to label whichever uh, half pan I'm filling with so oh my god my Pokemon Go thing um but yeah so stay tuned for that I think I'm gonna do like a speed time lapse kind of thing going on so yeah that is that here we go
lord. If I had a dollar for every time I stuck my hands in like one of these half pans, I would have enough money to pay somebody to do this for me. Um, yeah. But this is basically just me setting up this palette. I hope you enjoyed the weird angles I managed to get. Um, so I use this Sharpie for all the half pans to label one side with what brand it is and the other side with, with co whatever color I have because I have a few of these like my Winsor & Newton ones that are basically dead and you could see me in the real time like struggling with them so um, I tried to keep all the warm colors together then I went into my cool colors and I tried to keep like my newer colors like my moon glow my lavender and my shell pink and stuff down here even though it probably could have gone up here but this is just what my setup is for now I'll probably just leave this at home it's gonna dry for a while and then maybe I'll do like an overview of my watercolor collection. But besides that, um, this is my uh, watercolor palette. And this is all my watercolors that I own, I believe. Minus the ones that are already ready made in palettes. But these are all my tube watercolors. So um, I did manage to get all the blacks and uh, whites. Like there's, I have two Chinese whites and there's just a white from Shin Han. And then I have three blacks and then a neutral tint. So we'll see how that goes, but yeah, I made a mess, so I'm pretty much done with this project. I'm starving. This took almost all night, so hope you enjoyed the video. If not, oh well, you didn't have to watch it, but I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Let me know what other watercolors I might be able to add to this uh, collection because I've still got a few uh, uh, half pans left and also a lot of room over here, and also I can probably upgrade to a bigger uh, compartment to move these into. I really wanted to hot glue all of these like magnets to the bottom of them, but I don't have time for that. And I'll probably just leave this kind of uh, palette at home and make a on the go one for myself in like a tiny tin. <laughs> tiny tin. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think and I will see you guys next time. <laughs> Look at these gross fingers. Bye!